Hey Tim, this is Ben Irick coming to you from Potmos in Greece. Where are the Peterbilts? There's no Peterbilts here. If you want to find Peterbilts, you come to the United States of America. But thank God, I'm still watching idiotic ramblings on Life is Good. Come on! Well, good morning. Today is Friday for me. It's probably Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday for you. Uh, but it's Friday in real time. The videos are always anywhere from two days to a week behind. As it takes time to edit, render, upload, and not to be current tracking sometimes you're hauling a $200,000 load a $200,000 truck. So giving your exact location away on a daily basis is not the smartest ideal in the world. Just like putting yourself out here on social media is not the best plan in the world as well. You put your, set yourself up for a lot of negativity and feedback. Anyway, so we did head home out of Tallahassee, Florida, Wednesday. Should have done it Tuesday. So we booked a load yesterday at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Booked a load, picking up today in Dalton, Georgia, going to Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, should I say Oakdale? Hang on, let me look. I don't want to tell you guys wrong. All the Nazis are in here. Let's see. Uh, Hayward, California is our final destination. Now, if this video posts before I get to Hayward, which I do not think it will, uh, if there's anybody along the route, we can stop and have coffee. But just to give you a heads up, I got to run 650 miles each day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in order to make it to Las Vegas, Nevada by Monday morning. So it's a go, go, go situation. And I'm looking at a load coming out of Hayward, California, right back to Cleveland, Tennessee, uh, if the weight is okay and the rate comes up a little bit. Also looking at one coming out of Hayward, California, going all the way to Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Got a current bid on that one. We'll see what they do with that. Which is dicey to book something so far out to pick up on Tuesday when we're not even 100% sure about the load yet. But I think we'll be okay. So anyway, so there's all that. It's a mouthful of idiotic ramblings, wasn't it? I'm going to hear Dalton, Georgia pick up some artificial turf. I see that place all the time from the freeway. Uh, I don't like that term. I like to call it an inter interstate. Um, some Yankees refer to it as freeways. So we'll call it a freeway today. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're going to go there and pick it up. They promised me it was not like road carpet and it would not be rough on the trailer. It was big rows, he said, and they don't pack it in there. So we will see um, if it is rows and it's like carpet well. Because he even said, he even knew about strapping the walls. He said, you don't have to strap the walls. So it's not like the broker knows what he's talking about. So we will find out. We'll keep you guys posted. So that's the plan, Stan. So we'll see you down here. I knew this was the wrong time of day to leave the house. Uh, I flipped the camera on. We got right there to that sign that said, in tr truck lane restriction. Now we don't never take this left lane. We always stay over in the right lane, but we decided to jump over in the far left today <coughs> just to get away from the people trying to cut in at the last minute. And uh, that's what causes this 75 southbound lanes to stop is from all the people Wait to the last minute to jump on to 24 uh, West, you know. So I thought, well, I'll avoid the um, avoid that today, and that not do like Delta, Delta Distribution just did right here in front of me. Uh, 
That's all it is. These uh, inconsiderate people right here that do that crap. You know? So let them know what we think about that. That's kind of rude, wasn't it? And look right here's another one. See? Another one. You know, they, and they travel this every day. And, you know, they save themselves a few seconds. That Corvette purchased it. But anyway, so it's just, it just, it happens everywhere all across the country. That appears a big truck. He's doing it. I guess he just got, or maybe not. No, maybe, maybe someone, uh, why is that 6 one in front of him? You know. So, we just did that to be safe. And now all the car's trying to shoot around me on the right. And, uh, you know, I'm not over here for my health, people. So now once we get around this VAH truck, we will get back over so hopefully he didn't just miss his uh, road. It's kind of what it looked like. I don't know. Well, there, we survived that real easily. So hopefully it won't take them too long to load me up down here today. And uh, I'd like to stop down here at this trailer place that I videoed a while back. I, I bought some trailer bumper guards. Uh, those black rubber guards on the back of the trailer. Like this guy's right here mounted in between his taillights. I bought some new ones because when they get up against the dock and the trailer bounces up and down, they, they uh, get worn, you know. I bought some new ones, uh, but they don't fit. The ones I bought too big. So I need to exchange them. But anyway, so there you go. I will see y'all down here at the... Uh, artificial turf place Georgia has been working hard the other day they uh, pulled me over there just to look at me for a long time let's see if they pulled me over today it's getting backed up on the scale so we'll see what happens hopefully we get the bypass because we are completely empty Yeah, we're gonna get the bypass. Beautiful. They got their hands full with the oversize. Oh, I see we can't find this place. Products right there. Oh, the shipping receipt. What are we looking for? We are looking for control products. I think that's what we're looking for right there. Let's go up in there because uh, the GPS is taking us on up. But let's go in here and check it out. I like it. Nice, big, open uh, lot with lots of asphalt. Should be a piece of cake. So hopefully the uh, product is correct. There, come on. Yes, sir. Where to park the truck? Where to park? Let's just nose up over here because those boards over there. Let's nose up over here on the right and that way. We can make a good U-turn and back into one of them open docks over there. Let's go check in. You're watching Idiotic Ramblings with Life is Good. Keep the wheels turning and the chicken lights burning. Come on. Oh, and uh, don't forget your high-speed chicken feed there, Roger. So, update is the uh, broker light. It is all, it's 37 rows. Uh, heavy, just like carpet. Well, it's artificial turf, so it's probably heavier than carpet. So the broker absolutely lied. And I have never dropped a load in my life. I have never canceled a load. I don't know, I think, I'm not sure. I might have done one. I don't. Anyway, so, uh, so I'm not, not going to drop it. You know, it's Friday. It's 9 o'clock. Yes, I can find another load. Um, 
so it is what it is. You know, we're just going to, we're just going to, we're going to take it and uh, strap the walls. It just ticks me off, man. I swear I'd never do another load of road carpet. Here we are, you know. I'm going to learn that everything coming out of Dalton, Georgia, is rolls of carpet. They all lie. Oh, no, it's palletized. They all stink and lie. The reason why I lie is because anybody that owns a trailer doesn't want to haul carpet because it it um, bows your walls out, you know? So, yeah. Idiots. I'm going to back this thing up to the dock here and slide our tandems backwards just for the fun of it. Anyway, I just thought I'd turn the camera on and cry to you guys. It sucks. But we're going to strap between each rick of carpet. And uh, hope we get this thing to scale out, you know. So, anyway. I'll let the broker know he lied. Not that it matters, you know. Just leave no I don't appreciate it. You need to learn your product. Tell me, yes, it is all rolls. And yes, it is just like carpet. I don't care what you say. It is just like hauling carpet. So I ask him straight up Is it rolls of carpet? Oh, no, no, it's big rolls. Blah, blah. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to stop crying. So what we did is we made a bulkhead up in front, put the straps up there, and uh, all the way out to the ceiling. Those are big rows, we'll see what happens. We'll get you one live shot here. Squeeze them down worse than carpet, I believe. I tell him, mess up your walls and your roof. I said, oh yeah, we're going to do these in it. Let's take these in. Yeah, that's that. So what we did is we put three more steps. Straps on our truck, pull these walls up. Let's go outside and look at it and see what the walls look like. I don't understand the need to lie about the product, you know. I mean, I clearly asked the guy, are you sure it's not rose carpet? Oh, no, no, it's not rose carpet. I mean, it is rose of turf, but this side here so far looks okay. A little bolt out there in the middle. I think this other side right here is probably bold worse from... Way it looked inside, but as she rides down the road, it will continue to settle and get worse. You know, I think I think we're okay so far, but like I said, it has not settled. We'll keep an eye on it. You know, I mean, despicable. The Bluetooth trailer still holding up pretty well. Uh, we're going to go back inside and. Uh, and uh, go back to supervisor because they're getting close to the ceiling up there, you know. But all these bumps right here are caused from hauling carpet. Uh, I get more damage on this trailer from hauling carpet than I do anything. Holy smokes, man! I'm ready for lunch. Come on. Uh, we got her loaded. Uh, we like the way she scaled. We're going to go on toward Vegas. We're on our drive time out today, wherever that's going to put us. I don't know. So anyway, you guys can listen to me cry all the way to Vegas about my trailer walls. I just don't like being taken unnecessary. Uh, roughness with a uh, really nice trailer, you know, it wasn't designed for rose of carpet, but it wasn't designed for rose stock paper, so I don't haul rose stock paper.
need a paper spec trailer um, to haul paper because it's your floor joists are on six inch. The Hyundai I had they were on four inch centers, and um, I don't know what the walls was. They were plywood. They would probably hold up better than this Great Dane. Even though this Great Dane holds up better than a plated trailer because a plated trailer has uh, very little support. That's what the other guy he that was in the dock when I got there. He uh, had a plated trailer. He was really bowed out. Kind of he left, you know. So yeah, not cool, dude. But anyway, um, we better stop right here because holy smokes, some armchair quarterback will get us there. Come on, Our armchair law enforcement. Reverend now he's saying go right. I don't know why he wants me to go right. We're gonna go left. Um, I know the interstate is to the left. You know. I'm definitely not going to go right. I don't know where right goes. I don't know where that goes. We're not going to go that way because we're, we're smarter than that thing. Uh, anyway, so yep, yeah, we got our load picked up. We're going our way to Vegas. So we got 1,950 miles to do by Monday. And it's 1040 Eastern Time. On Friday, and that's someone said, Oh my god, it's not Friday. Well, it is on the video. Maybe I'll wait and release the next Friday, and everybody think, Hey, I'm right behind you. <laughs> anyway, all right, so, um, fun stuff. We got room for fuel, and we're good. And we're almost ready for lunch, but we can't have lunch yet. We're going to stop to have lunch because we got homemade meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and green beans that I cooked myself yesterday. But we have a meatloaf for the next three days there, come on. But the meatloaf, I must say, turned out really good. I say so myself. So anyway, all right. So I hope you guys just sit back, kick back, and enjoy the ride, because we got a long ways to go. On the flip. He got up from the uh, window to look at this guy, so I don't know. But he going to let him go. My turn. They working hard today. Come on. Let's see what kind of weight we got. Let's see if our halfway is correct. I wouldn't mind getting pulled around back. Look at that, boys. Look at that. Now that way is correct. Beautiful. Now that way was right on the money today. I love it. The next stop is the Franklin Tennessee TA. Going to get fuel and some DEF fluid and some meatloaf and mashed potatoes. See that clock? That was a gas pedal. Some guy on Facebook said, Oh, he clocks every gear. No, I don't. I believe it. Here I'm clocking that gas pedal. Sometimes the trucks are uh, doing the shifting wheel. It makes more noise than I do. People just like to try and get up to the ski, you know what I mean? Half time they're just ignorant. See that's the truck there. See I was already in the big hole. And that was splitting up the 18th gear off the gas and it does it. There ain't clucking going on, it's the truck clucking. They ain't me clucking the truck. I will see y'all on the up road there. Well, doggone it. All right, we just got fuel there to TA in Franklin. Now, I like to do that little one mile north jog 
of 65. Pulled in, I got fuel, took a 30 minute break, and ate our meat loaf and mashed potatoes. And been bidding on this JB Hunt load coming out of California. It's going all the way to Upper Marlboro, Maryland. <clears throat> and we've been going back and forth on a bid, and, and uh, today's only Friday, and the load don't pick up till Tuesday, but whatever. But anyway, so they kept countering and I put another bid in at 220. Well, I think it's 218 a mile. What I wound up doing, 218 a mile. You know, coming out of California, going all the way to Maryland, it's not bad money. It's above market rates, but anyway, blah blah blah. So the guy called me, and uh, they accepted my offer. So it looks like we are going. Uh, turn and burn, you know, which which, yeah. So. Unbelievable, you know. Unbelievable. So anyway, that's what we got going. Uh, so hopefully that's not a bad mistake. We're just going to figure out if we're going to run. I don't think I'll run 80 all the way across. I may get over there, drop down to. Um, I don't know what I'll do. I'm trying to keep the toes out of it, you know. So going to California, turn and burn. I do it every time. I, go, I can't get over the big truck. I don't know what he's doing. He's not. He's not. That's before he flashed through the right one out. Yeah, it was. So, yeah, every time I go west, I turn and burn because what happens is I, I see a load coming back and I grab it. I don't know. I need to. I lie. I need to stay out there. Of course, I just had the truck polished, so I don't really need a polishing. Um, yeah, you know, so really to stay out there, I don't know. But I guess I'll come right back. I don't know, maybe I'll get a load out of Maryland on um, Monday going, I don't know, I don't know, going to Florida and then do that trade show load that the guy wants me to do out of Florida. I think that's not to the 17th. I think we deliver in Maryland on the 8th. Uh, anyway, so we're not going home. So that'll be uh, two weekends on the road for sure. And uh, there's the phone. We'll call you and see you a bit. It must be red light Tim day. I tell you what, uh, it's coming off of 840 right there, coming off of 840 on the 40. And uh, I've seen something I've never saw before. It's really cool. I've seen them refueling a Chinook helicopter in the air before. This time they were refueling two Chinooks side by side behind the fuel tanker in the air. And they were just a couple hundred feet above the tree line. And it was just awesome, man. I got the handy cam camcorder out. To shoot a video of it and uh, and the SD card. Sometimes you gotta eject it and reject. I just could not get it, and uh, I couldn't just stop. You know, uh, but yeah, yeah, that was that was really cool to see uh, Chinooks. And what's a Chinook? Well, a Chinook helicopter. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Is a twin prop. The big military twin prop helicopters. They got the prop in the front and the prop in the back. I guess they carry like those might carry military personnel because I think that's part of the 101st Airborne Division. I think that's what's out of Clarksville. Uh, but anyway, they they uh, they fly over there quite a bit. It's a beautiful day and they were up there flying. So, man, I wish I could have got that on video. That was just really really cool. So anyway, so we're waiting our turn to get on the scale and uh, wasting my time there. Come on, but yes, sir. Everybody else behind me getting a bypass. So they might spend a little bit more time on it because there's not anybody behind me. So they might spend some time on me. I wouldn't mind going through a paperwork check. You know, everybody said, "Oh, why do you want to do that?" Well, because my paperwork's in order. You know. And uh, you know it looks better than no no audits. If you don't get any audits, uh, it's just, it's just the same as not, as having bad audits. You know, because your your prepass uh, and insurance company they go by it more than anything. They don't really mind about the FMCSA or you know CSA scores, but. Free pass will start 
start red lighting you, you know. Um, so this helps with that. I mean, I got a buddy, he, he kept getting red light and he finally caught him, you know. And uh, she is balanced. So yeah, um, he kept getting a red light, and uh, he finally called pre-pass. He said, hey, what's the deal? And that's, that's what it was, you know? I said, well, you need inspections. He's like, well, I can't make them inspect me, you know? I'm doing what he's supposed to be doing. Everything's being done right. Anyway, he finally, he finally fought it enough, and uh, he quit getting the red lights. So... There you go. They're not like his pipes. He had the big straights coming up, but look like that right side just stuck out too far. In my mirror, the way it looked like. But anyway, so there you go. I just turned the camera on so you guys can see the weigh station and tell you about the Chinook helicopters getting refueled in the air. And Tennessee is working hard. Look over on the left. They got they, they got them all lined out the road. Holy smokes! Beautiful. I think I told you guys I got a load coming back, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know. Okay, see you. Life is good. Come on.